Toy Story 2 Toy Story 2 was the third film created by Pixar after A Bug's Life in 1998 and the first Pixar film, Toy Story 1, in 1995. Toy Story 2 was originally going to be a direct-to-video sequel to the first film, but then it's been decided that the film will have a theatrical release. Toy Story 2 was released in November of 1999, just in time for Thanksgiving, and it was unanimously acclaimed. Let's talk about the story. What is Toy Story 2 about? Well, Woody was getting ready to go to cowboy camp with Andy, but after a super quick adventure in Andy's room and a little accident, the cowboy doll was left behind. The next day, Andy's mom walks in with a box and picks out old items to give away in a yard sale, even an old squeezed toy penguin named Wheezy, voiced by the late Joe Ramft. Woody heads out to the yard sale with Andy's dog Buster and rescues Wheezy. But Woody was left behind and he was kidnapped by a greedy toy collector, Al McWiggin. So Buzz, along with Ham, Potato Head, Slinky, and Rex, heads out to find and rescue Woody and bring him back to Andy's room safe and sound. At Al's apartment, Woody meets Jesse, the yodeling cowgirl, Bullseye, the horse, and Stinky Pete, the prospector. He soon learned that he's a rare vintage cowboy doll and was the star of an old TV show for children called Woody's Roundup. However, Woody soon realized that he's going to be put into a toy museum in Japan along with Jesse, Bullseye, and the Prospector. And without Woody to make everything complete, they go back into storage, which Jesse doesn't like. Woody tried to escape that night, but it didn't go well. The next day, a toy repairing guy repairs Woody's arm, but as Woody was about to leave, he learned that Jesse had an owner of her own, a girl named Emily, who stopped playing her when she was growing up, and she was sadly put into storage, where she has been abandoned for years. Prospector gave Woody a choice to either go back to Andy or go with them to the museum. So Woody decides to stay. Meanwhile, the rescue recruit reaches Al's toy barn, where they have to cross the street causing a huge accident, and when they got inside, there were, um, tons of mishaps. But everyone reaches to Al's apartment, where they find not only Woody, but the Roundup Gang. But Woody decided to go to the toy museum with the gang, causing the other toys to walk back home sadly. But after a moment, Woody changed his mind and decided to go back to Andy, even asking Jesse, Bullseye, and the Prospector to come along. But the Prospector rather be in the museum than to be played with, as he's been in his box for many years. Which leads to a big chase scene, along with a fight against Utility Belt Buzz and the evil Emperor Zerg. They made it to the airport, rescue their cowboy friend, and teach the Prospector a lesson. But Jesse is still in danger, so with the help of Buzz and Bullseye, Woody heads off towards the airplane and rescues the cowgirl. But the plane's about to take off, so they have to escape quickly. They open up a hatch and climb out of the plane. Woody slips, but he was saved by Jesse. Bullseye and Buzz appear as Woody notices a bolt. He uses cowboy strain to catch the bolt and tells Jesse to let go of the plane. He tells her to pretend that it's the final episode of the old TV show. So she lets go and they both swing off the plane and onto Bullseye with Buzz. They got back home with Andy coming home from camp. The next day, Andy fixed Woody's arm as he heads off to camp. Everything's back to normal, the villains have been defeated, life has never been better in Andy's room. Buzz did ask Woody if he's still worried about Andy, but Woody said he's fine. When it's all over, he'll have all of his friends to keep him company. For infinity and beyond. On November 24th, 1999, a day before Thanksgiving, Toy Story 2 was released to theaters to critical acclaim. The movie was acclaimed for its story, the animation, the hilarious humor, and Jessie's sad backstory about her being abandoned by her owner. And this is where the topic of the movie comes in, about facing the inevitable and being abandoned by the ones you loved. So with all that said and done, does Toy Story 2 still holds up today? Definitely. 20 years ago today, it still holds up. This movie from start to finish is still awe-inspiring and extraordinary. And I still watch it to this day. If you haven't seen this movie yet, I totally recommend it. It is a wondrous movie that teaches us about the inevitable future awaiting for us and about abandonment. And that no matter what happens, the ones you loved, your friends and family will always be there for you. For infinity and beyond.